salute, salute. Salute to God, the most high, the creator of everything. Salute to all my day ones. Salute to the new subscribers, though. Salute. Never would have made it. Yes, sir. God is good. Never would have made it. We have breached a thousand plus. God is good. But anyways, if you're just not stumbling across my platform as you come in, please wipe your feet all over my welcome mat by hitting that like button, subscribe button, notification bell. Share these videos. Share the experience. Y'all, it's going down. There's so much to talk about. So, trolls. Only God and your mama and maybe say a Joe Biden and a UPS man can love you. But it's okay. It's okay. It's going to work out. It's going to work out. All right? And last but not least, last but not least, I say last but not least. Ah, ah, ah. One time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I say one time. Yeah. I say one time. One time for the cut squad, one time for the gifted family, one time for Big Bro's Corner, Big Bro's Backup, one time for God, the creator of everything, the most high, y'all, the real MVP, the savior, y'all, and two salutes to the GOT. Oh, there's a lot to talk about. I can't even sit down, y'all. I came in here to do what I do. <laughs> but the missus, why she in here cooking. <laughs> but yet, I want to talk to the people, too. So, here's what we got. Now, last week... Last Saturday, in Pennsylvania, an idiot made history, okay? They tried to assassinate a former president, a president running for re-election. That's right, Mr. Donald J. Trump, all right? Now, fast forward to this week, and what do we get? One week and one day later, we get the uh, incumbent president, the sitting president, to say, I can't do it no more. I quit. Y'all knew I was incompetent in the first place. You knew my cognitive skills weren't the same. You knew I was going to fall down. You knew I was going to poop in my pants. Joe say he quit. Joe say he quit. He, that's it. Joe say he quit. He is not running for re-election. Now, I got some questions. I got some questions, y'all. Now, I heard... Ooh, that look good. I need to be in here more often making videos while she cooking. That looks so... Ooh. Really? I like it. I like I like I like Hey, but back to the subject, see? Back to the subject. Food will not distract me. All right? Here we go, y'all. Democrats. Now, I heard he endorsed Kamala Harris. You know, Kamala say she ain't black. Kamala say she's South Asian Indian. And you know what? I believe Kamala because mine is a South Asian Indian. I say I have a South Asian Indian. Are y'all black? No. Huh? No, we're not. Okay. They might look black, but they ain't black. <laughs> but anyways, that's not even about that. What it's about is, will she get the delegates she need to become the the democratic nominee will they rally behind kamala who's going to be her running mate will she bring out michelle obama will she bring out gavin newsom will she bring out robert kennedy who she's going to run with because it's got to be somebody great it's got to be somebody great see the world right now can argue that even though he endorsed kamala it's still biden's administration biden's policies that's being passed down the same way Obama passed it down to Biden. Y'all ain't hear me though. Y'all ain't hear me though. Passed it down the same way. So it's the same thing, you know? So here's what I'm wondering. Here's what I'm wondering. Democratic leaders, Nancy Pelosi, congressmen, senators, here's what I'm wondering. I'm just an average person, but y'all know I be thinking. You know, here's what I be thinking. I was thinking like, if you really wanted to get Donald Trump out of the news and make history, make history on top of the history that he is making, surviving indictments and surviving gunshots and surviving all the demonizing, condescending things that's been said about him for years, you know, if you really wanted to make history, why not have Joe Biden just say, I quit right now? Don't even throw in the towel or throw in the cane. (laughs) 
I cracked myself up sometimes. Don't be throwing the towel, throwing it depends. <laughs> I quit. I can't do it. I can't do it. If he would have quit right now and Kamala would have been his successor, on a serious note, ladies and gentlemen, all right, if y'all scooping what I'm pooping, here's what I'm trying to give to you, all right? Had he just stepped down now and gave Kamala from now until at least the, whenever the DNC pop off, or the election isn't until November. So I'm going to go a little further than the DNC, although they have to have their candidate, you know, at least the world would have known what she was able to do as a leader by herself. And then that makes it easy to vote her in this November if they really wanted to see what she was capable of. Now you're going to bring her in here blindly to face Donald Trump. You know Donald Trump good with nicknames. He be calling people Pocahontas and stuff. Y'all know y'all Donald Trump would chew this poor woman out and spit her out. And y'all know it. But if you wanted to make history, why not just have him step all the way down? Because he can't even finish the job. Hell, he couldn't even start it. <laughs> Honestly, he couldn't start it. I wish him well. And thank you for doing the right thing. And here's something else I want to touch on. This is also supposed to rally the Democratic base when this is ultimately going to split the gender, the sexes of the Democratic base. What do you mean? Okay. Now, women... This was a chance for the Democrats to regain that black vote because they've been watching the polls. They know that the black vote was swaying over to Donald Trump. So how do we get that back? Let me endorse Kamala. Kamala going to be the token right now. She's going to be the token. She's going to go out there and be our Obama. She's going to bring everybody back. She's going to bring those votes back. The women want this chance to make history. So it don't matter what color the women are. You know what I'm saying? They just want to make history. First president, first female president. Let's do it. Let's do it. So they're going to be all in. Black women are going to be all in. Black men, <laughs> most men, darn up, all men, we're going to be like, well, hold on, hold on now. That was still a little too expensive for my pockets. You know, so we're still going to go with Trump's economics, Trump's economy. They can't match Trump's economy. Honestly, nothing the Democratic Party can throw out here is going to match the economy that Donald Trump had and probably will bring back. I have faith in him. He survived everything else. You know, he survived everything else, so I have faith in him. I'm not saying I'm a Republican. I'm not saying I'm a Democrat. I'm saying I'm human. I'm saying I work just like you. I'm saying I'm tired of spending all the buku money on, on gas and groceries and lights and all this stuff. It's, it, it is expensive. 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 Real talk. It's expensive. And there's going to be lots of people who are going to be in this for color, for gender, even for history. We need to be in this as Americans, as Americans. For everybody who's saying, hey, no matter who you vote for, they're not gonna help us anyways, or your vote don't count, or listen, listen, there may be truth to that. But let me tell you what we can't do while we're busy saying we should govern ourselves. Let me tell you what we can't do even if we decide to exercise that much sovereignty and try to govern ourselves. You know what we can't do? We can't drive down them grocery prices. Oh, no, we can't. No, we can't. You know what else we can't do? We can't drive down them gas prices. Oh, no, we can't. We can't. You know what else? We can't stop them mortgage payments from going up. We can't stop them landlords from saying I'm increasing it two, three, four, five hundred on you. Oh, no, we can't. We can't. We can't. We cannot bring down the price of those automobiles. No, we can't do that. Not in sovereignty. We can't do that. We can't do that. But you got people saying, oh, we should govern ourselves. We should lead ourselves. We don't need no leader. Look, y'all like little slaves running back to your master. Listen, bro, it's certain things that wokeness gets you, consciousness gets you, and it's certain things that ignorance gets you too. Ignorance is going to get you more inflation. 
Ignorance is going to get you more people running the country that you don't like, that you don't agree with. Ignorance is going to get more people coming in to your southern border like never before, taking your jobs and, 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 and being a part of your community and flushing you and yours out. And flushing you and yours out. Now, I like you've never heard of gentrification because these marketers know this stuff. Huh? 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 They know these stuff. These real estate agents know this stuff. They know what's really going on. So you got to vote in the best interest of the country. Stop voting because somebody's black. Stop voting because somebody's a woman. Stop voting because somebody's gay. Stop voting because you like their policies and their policies help people. Help people. Y'all, I like y'all don't see homeless people laying out on, on buildings. Listen, right here where I live at, man, when the office closed, Homeless people come off the streets and, and, and lay on the, 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 the concrete right here in front of the door of the rent office, y'all. Rent office. I see tent cities. Y'all, like y'all don't see these homeless veterans holding signs and they done gave it all to this country. The one out there got injured, came back with PTSD and everything else and, and came and get 100%. Like they don't deserve it when they do. So why y'all busy saying, oh, he's a house ninja. He's a house ninja. No, you're the house ninja. Mr. Black Innovative Minds, whatever your name was. You're the house ninja. Because the very people who's allowing the border to be flooded with those illegal aliens who are coming here taking our jobs, taking everybody else's jobs, and, and, and these people who are working for lower wages, who are taking over our communities, our parks, where we grew up at, generations worth. Yeah, 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 you're voting for them. So you're not part of the solution. You're going to be part of the problem. You're going to be part of the problem. I said nothing wrong when I said that when you're born black, for some reason it's a golden rule, you always vote blue. Blue households be cripping. <laughs> be cripping. We always got to go with the blue. I always got to go with the blue and we don't have to we got to break those chains because we've been voting ourselves into this we can vote ourselves out look at policies and politics forget what people do in their personal life unless it's pedophilia and, and and trafficking and you know you know you know we know it doesn't matter what color someone is it doesn't matter what party they come out of. It doesn't matter if they was born with money, if they were born poor. It matters that they know how to be human. It matters that they know how to put America first. It matters that they hear the cries of the public and they do everything that they can to not only satisfy, but pacify that call as well. Because lots of people have been calling out. People have been calling out for help, for relief. And the same the same assistance this country used to offer those who were below a certain bracket financially are the same assistance that they're offering to immigrants to come over here and work in the hospitality fields. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they mean by taking the black job. So listen, I'm going to wrap this up. This can go either way. This can cause the Democratic Party to split and they can say, hey, all the women can say, hey, I want to vote for Kamala. Let's make history. We tried this with Hillary Clinton. You know, we've seen Marianne Williamson. We've seen uh, Nikki Haley. Something's got to work. So let's say they rally behind her. And now you're definitely going to get the black people because black people were, oh, she's black. We're going to say, oh, the Obama effect. The Obama effect. We was wrong then. We'll be wrong now. But that's a whole nother video. The Obama effect, right? So you got the black women, right? All you got to do is show them an Aunt Jemina and you got, that's it. That's they syrup. That's they syrup. Kamala Harris will be the Aunt Jemina. She will be the syrup for the black people. It's going to stick for the black women. Now the black men, black men, black men are going to split. No, it's a lot of black men saying no.
Now, like I was saying, for black men, for most, it's going to be a lot of them that's going to split that Democratic vote because they're going to be like, hey, this is still Biden's playbook. I need Trump's economy. I don't care what type of person he was. I don't care. And to be honest, I don't see Trump being prosecuted for nothing now. The man that survived a bullet, what DA is going to bring him in there and prosecute him? Let's be honest, man. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. I, listen, I'm just in favor of a good economy. I'm in favor of having a savings account and a checkings account. I'm in favor to of being able to afford <laughs> gas when my gas needle hit half. I don't run mine down to empty. No. But you know what? Just letting it run to half is a little costly too, y'all. I drive a 1500. You know what I mean? It's a little costly. I'm tired of that. I'm tired. I know y'all got to be tired. You know, the price of milk, the price of cheese, the price of eggs, the price of a box of Pop-Tarts. Let's be real. Let's be real. Lil' Debbie snack cakes used to be 50 cent. Big Debra want 259 now. Let me get that to you one more again. Lil' Debbie used to be 50 cent. Big Debra want 259 from you. For them same little old zebra squares and stuff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Y'all better wise up, man. Wise up and rise up. Wise up and rise up. So, we've got history being made in 2024. How will this play out? Will Kamala Harris get the delegates she need to be, to get the nominee for the Democratic Party? Will they bring somebody else to compete with her? Will she write somebody else on a ticket that can rally the party? Who will it be? Another woman? You know, these are the times where we could possibly have the first transgender. Um, listen, any, this is America. Anything can happen. Y'all stay tuned. This is going to be good. This is shocking. This is, boy, this is America. Y'all stay tuned. We got presidents that survive gunshots. We got presidents that quit on a job. We got people that get handed the White House when somebody else was getting handed the White House. We... Boy, we look real weak and confused right now. What will we do? What we gonna do? I don't know what we gonna do. All I know is sad. It's sad, but I know I'm gonna tear into this um, shrimp spaghetti right here with this cheese sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the way I'm gonna tear down in it, it's gonna be sad, you know. But until then, you know, y'all get y'all one-on-one. Get your one-on-one. Get your one-on-one with your higher power. There's only one, y'all. There's only one. There's only one. There's only one. And before y'all hop in here with the house ninja stuff and this and that, look, there's a difference between knowing what you're talking about, being a historian, reading, you know, reading, researching, and being brainwashed, being told something and repeating it and hating someone because they chose to be smart and act on intelligence rather than act on what they've been told as, you know, let's say, a slave. All right. Y'all stay prayed up, stay blessed up, stay meditated up, stay protected. Stay real, stay woke, stay uncut. Be inspired. Be great. Be you. Ooh. And this is about to be good. America's election, 2024. Joe had to go. Harris is going to get embarrassed. I don't know how this is gonna go now. I don't know who's gonna compete with Trump. Do you know? Does is this wow man, y'all get in the comment box, let me know what y'all think. How do you, how is this gonna go down, man? I think this is gonna lean more towards whatever Nancy Pelosi wants. That's what I think. That's what I think. But anyways, y'all, I'm out of here on this good Sunday. Thank you for those subscribers. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Let me tell you one more again. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. You know what I'm saying? Hit that notification bell and all that good stuff. And, uh, you know we love you. One time. And I say, I got a plate to tear up. Later. Kings and queens, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Comment box, y'all. Let's get it popping. We ain't stopping.